Today we're looking at how to download Zoom on your PC or laptop and to join a Zoom meeting. Now you don't need an account to join a Zoom meeting as a participant, so if you've been invited by your host, you don't need to create an account. However, there is one exception to this, and if the host requires authentication profiles, then you'll need to set up an account. But this tends to be more to allow limited access to the sort of the meeting room, for example, verified users or maybe a bunch of users within the company. So this is probably the exception rather than the norm. Okay, so let's dive into the detail now and show you how to download Zoom to your PC or laptop and to join a Zoom meeting. Just before we go ahead and download Zoom, I'm just going to show you the important information with regard to system requirements. It's worth just checking this out before you download it so it, to make sure your computer matches the requirements. So if you go to zoom.us, as you can see there, resources and FAQ, and I will put a link to the system requirements in the description below. So click on the link there, and it looks at all the system requirements for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, etc. So in terms of the actual supported operating systems, as you can imagine, it supports various ones. So Windows 7 is one it supports, along with Windows 8 or 8.1, and Windows 10, along with Mac OS X with Mac OS 10.9 or later, if you've got that, and some other systems which it supports here, as you can see. So I have also check in your computer supports processor and RAM requirements, as well as the system requirements there, such as internet connection, audio and microphone, etc. So when you're happy with that, if you go to resources, download center, click on that and it opens up another page. Zoom client for meetings is what we're going to download. Now this normally downloads automatically when you start or join the first Zoom meeting, but doesn't always. So we're going to go ahead and download this today. And obviously before you download it, make sure that you are happy with the sort of spec that it's downloading for. Like we've got Windows 64 bit here. So we're happy with that. When it's done, double click and it says initializing the zoom installer this is normally pretty quick in my experience and when it's finished doing that it momentarily goes off screen then the zoom desktop client pops up as you can see here with the option to either sign in or join a meeting we're going to join today for the purposes of this webinar so we're going to enter our meeting id or personal link name so we'll put the meeting id in here that your host has sent you and the name that you want to be displayed during the meeting. So if you put that in there, the tech guru. Now you can remember my name for future meetings if you want it to, so you can keep that checked or unchecked. But I also, these two here do not connect to audio. I tick that as well as turn off my video because you never quite know if you go straight into the meeting, what's in your background, maybe children or it's really noisy and you've got more control. So check you're happy with the meeting terms and then click join. But when the meeting passcode comes up, if you enter that there, and again, your host will have sent you this information if you enter it here. And then when you've got the correct details, if you click join meeting and basically it will connect and it says a meeting host will let you in soon. Sometimes it depends if you've got like a, a waiting room, etc. you might go straight into it, but um, that's what will appear sometimes. But in the meantime, if that does appear, you can test your speaker and your mic. So you can test the speaker, select your speaker, as well as set the volume levels and the same really with the microphone you can test it there if you wish select the relevant microphone there and the volume levels there and you can automatically adjust the volume levels which i always leave ticks that's really seems to work there are some other settings which i suppress background noise and don't touch that and there are some other ones there like mute my microphone when joining automatically join a computer when joining a meeting so you can select that and in terms of the video, you can actually set your webcam there. Ours is off today, which is why you're not seeing a picture. You can use a visual ratio or you can set HD. My videos, you can mirror the video. You can even touch up your appearance if you want to look better. It's a bit softer and you can adjust for low light, which I find useful. I tend to leave that on auto. And there's some other settings as well, which you can set there. But when you're happy with it, it's a case of just clicking on the top right and cross on the corner and wait for the host to let you in. I've created some other Zoom related videos for you. Maybe you want to know how to rename yourself during a Zoom meeting or how to update Zoom. You can click on the links appearing on screen now. But many thanks for watching our video today. We'll see you on the next video.